Vostok Kamandirsky or Vostok Amphibia? Which one should you buy? Hey, what is up guys? My name is Oleg, this is Bond. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel and like the content, please do subscribe so you won't miss any of the upcoming videos and we have some awesome uh, watch unboxings and watch reviews coming your way. In today's video, we're gonna compare Vostok Amphibia versus Vostok Kamandirsky. Which one should you buy? Probably the more accurate question is which one should you buy first? Because as we all know, once you buy one Vostok, it's very hard to stop and you will probably be craving more and more of them. Now, to give you a heads up, these are not gonna be reviews. I did full reviews for both of the watches that we're gonna compare today. This is simply a comparison, gonna give you some pros and some cons for each one of the watches and let you make up your mind. So, let's get started. All right, guys, so here are the two watches that we're gonna compare today. Now, I'm not gonna do this video in a style of a duel where I have 10 or 12 or eight, however many categories, and then I give each one of the watches a mark. Instead, I'm just gonna kind of talk about each watch, give you some side-by-side -side shots, and give you my personal opinions. On the left, we have the Vostok Kamandirsky. The reference number for this specific model is 2112. 88. So 211288 is the reference for this one. There are many different versions of this watch, different dials, different cases, and different bezels. I went for the Paratrooper Edition one. Uh, the only modification or change that I have made to this watch is I put it on this NATO strap. I think that's the way uh, these watches were meant to be worn. Because they're th so thin, uh, they look great on NATOs. On the right hand side, we have my Vostok Amphibia. The reference for this watch is 120656. So I bought this watch a few months ago, did a full review, did an unboxing video for it. All that can be found on the channel. Absolutely love this watch. I went for the iconic scuba dude, but I did go for the one without a date window. Uh, now I didn't do any mods to this watch yet. Uh, and modding community with Vostoks is a huge thing. Uh, and that's part of the reason why I decided to do this video now before I modify the swatch in any way So that way you can kind of see the two original versions side by side But once again, there are so many different variations in dials in cases in bezels that there are uh, Pretty much limitless possibilities in terms of which Vostok you can have so the way I'm gonna do this comparison is I'm gonna uh, look at each watch and I'm gonna kind of point out why you would buy that specific watch over the other. So, first of all, Kamandirsky. Why would you choose a Vostok Kamandirsky over the Vostok Amphibia? Well, first of all, the price. These watches could be bought for 25 to 30 US dollars on eBay, and I'll have some links in the description below if you wanna check out some reputable sellers from uh, whom I've purchased these watches before. And of course, I'll have the link to this specific reference if you like this watch here. So this watch is about half of the price of this watch, uh, 25 to $30, about 55 to $70, depending for which uh, of the references you go for. Second of all, the watch, as I uh, mentioned before, is thinner. So this is quite a thin watch, and a lot of that comes from the movement, so this is not an automatic movement, this is a hand winding movement. The movement in this watch is 2414A. Uh, it's an in-house Vostok movement. Fairly accurate, mine, mine is running about uh, 25, 20 seconds plus per day. Not too bad for this kind of a watch. Now you also notice the date window by three o'clock position. You have the applied indices, the paratrooper, VDV, I do speak Russian so I can read it. It says VDV Kamandirsky. So VDV is kind of like the paratrooper division of Russian military. Uh, I like the crown is a bit, uh, is smaller. It has the crown guards. So this watch uh, looks great. Another reason why somebody would choose this Kamandirsky over an amphibia is the fact that even though this is technically a pilot's watch or maybe a field watch, it still could be used as a diver. It still has pretty much the same case back as the uh, Amphibia, and it also has a screw down crown. Um, it, the bezel could be replaced with a diving style bezel. It, it does rotate. I just went for the one without any markings. I, I like this clean look, but you could replace it with a different bezel that actually has the diver uh, timer. And you could 
go swimming with this watch. In fact, I did go swimming with mine many times. The watch performed great. So it could technically still be used as a diving watch. Of course, I don't think it will have the 200 meters of water resistance as an amphibia, but uh, you could safely go swimming and uh, maybe some snorkeling, uh, things like that. Take a shower with this watch. The watch holds up and performs well. A lot of people describe this as a kind of an undestructible watch like a tank or something like that and i do agree with that analogy so you get uh, still the water resistance you, you get uh, the heritage you get the looks uh, you get uh, a, a lot of the things that you get with amphibia for about half of the price so what don't you get with the kamandirsky that you do get with amphibia well first of all the case the case material for the Kamadirsky watches is chrome plated brass. The case on Amphibia watches is stainless steel, which is of course preferred. It will stand the test of time better. It will hold up under pressure better and just overall longevity. Of course, you want to go with the stainless steel. Second of all, the movement. So the movement in this watch is also an in-house Vostok movement. I have the 2415 caliber movement, but there's also the 2416B. So the only difference between the two movements is the fact that the 2415, the one that I have, doesn't have the date versus the other movement, the 2416B does have the date complication. That's kind of the only difference between the two movements. So not only is this an automatic movement, but it's also hand windable. It is not hacking, but you do get an automatic movement uh, by paying a little bit extra. Sure, it's double, but when we're talking about $25, $30. Those are not huge amounts. This watch is also available in an array of different designs, different dial variations, different bezel variations, different case variations. They all come with this big kind of oversized crown. Some people don't like it. Some people do like it. I quite like it. It makes it very easy to operate and then the watch is still comfortable to wear. It's not like the crown is digging into your wrist or anything like that. You also have the crown guards with the specific model that I chose. Uh, we have the rubber strap. They're referred to as resina strap, which is basically rubber, but in Russian. Uh, kind of a similar design of the case back with the amphibia as you get with the Kamandirsky and the bezel is bi-directional uh, not the most useful in terms of um, diving but it's pretty good uh, the loom on both watches is pretty much the same the uh, the big difference is actually the fact that this is a fully diver watch so you do have that lollipop on the seconds hand once you're diving underwater uh, you can see that the watch is still working by looking at the lollipop ticking away. Uh, but other than that, the loom on both watches is pretty much the same, which is kind of a negative for Amphibia because uh, it is a proper diving watch. So I wish it had a bit of a better loom as opposed to the uh, Pilots or the Field Watch that Kamandirsky is. So which one of the watches should you choose? Which one should you buy first? Well, it really depends on your preference. If you want a proper diving watch that has all the history that made Vostok uh, this legendary brand, then of course go for the Amphibia because it is a proper diving watch. It's made out of stainless steel. It has the automatic movement. Sure, it's more expensive, but uh, the different variations that you get with this watch, there's sure to be a watch that will fit your specific wrist and your specific style. If you want to test the waters, so to speak, pun intended, go for the Kamandirsky. This watch is cheaper. You still can uh, do so many different activities with this watch. Um, you can still uh, take it uh, swimming with you. It is tough as nails. Even though it is a chrome plated brass case, it still can withstand test of time. I have a vintage Kamandirsky in my collection. Uh, that one is also chrome plated brass and it held up well over years in, in fact it gives it an interesting look with the patina and aging but that's a conversation for a different video so if you just want to test out the waters and you don't mind the uh, hand wound movement you don't mind uh, winding it every morning uh, maybe go for the Kamandirsky. you save the money it is cheaper you kind of dip your toe in the water with the Kamandirsky or with Vostok watches in general see how the quality is see how these watches feel 
and uh, and then you can judge because to be honest they do feel very similar uh, the crystals are pretty much the same the level of finishes is very similar uh, the accuracy of the movements is very similar I should mention that both are easily adjustable so if your accuracy is a little bit off you can uh, adjust the movement accuracy I might do that when I do the mods video for this watch because this one is running uh, I think about 40 seconds fast so that's a bit uh, too much for my liking so whichever one of the watches you choose I don't think you will be disappointed all right guys I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this helped you make up your mind which one of the watches should you buy first Vostok Amphibia or Vostok Komandirskia or maybe neither one of them maybe neither one is right for you I appreciate you watching the video until the end please leave a comment in a comment section below let me know which one of the watches do you prefer which one do you have in your collection maybe you have both by the way today on my wrist I'm wearing an advisor Astro Helm I did a full review of this watch that video can be found on the channel absolutely love this timepiece thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time bye